My name is Devi Alexander. I am a musician and a word certified music therapist in Los Angeles, California. I have sung background and lit vocals to everyone from Sheryl Crow, Fleetwood Mac, Barbara Streisand, Late Night with Jimmy Fallon. I work with The Roots on that show. I help pull together singers and musicians. I'm biracial. My mother's so white. <laughs> <laughs> She's so white. And my dad is African-American. The trauma within my own family, the dysfunction within my own family, which involved a lot of physical beating. My father and I have a somewhat fractured relationship that we're still working on to this day. It's not the pale moon that excites me, that thrills or delights me. I ended up having a child at the age of 16. So at that point, I was a young black woman who was a statistic. I was a teenage mother. Dealing with the stigma and the shame of being so young and being pregnant was, it was hard for us. You know, we had some rough moments. My dad sucked me in my lip and busted my lip while I was pregnant. Things like that happened because we were all struggling. At a young age, I was molested by a family member. My dad's a pastor. And this person that molested me ended up being a member of our church. I didn't even understand why this man was being allowed to be a part of our community after what had happened. I didn't even understand why he was allowed to be in our world. When my father did find out about the molestation, I think I was like eight or nine when it actually all came out. And at the time, I don't remember my dad dealing with me directly. I don't remember him ever sitting down with me and like bringing me close and saying, this happened, it's not your fault, you're safe, you know, you're gonna be okay. I don't remember the comfort or the reassurance. Cause when you're in my arms and I feel you so close All my wildest dreams come true. My sister died last uh, January. And I think for the first time, it caused him to really look at how he relates to his family. And so now at the tender age of 71, we're working on things. In fact, he's coming over to my house tomorrow to plant flowers in my flower bed. Do you know that my dad never in my life has done things like that for me, ever? And that's why all the anger and frustration I've had my entire life, you know, I'm willing to let him melt away and meet him, you know, even at this late stage in the game. But my dad saying to me, I'm gonna come over and I'm gonna, I wanna plant some flowers in your flower bed. It gave me anxiety because I'm not accustomed to my dad paying attention to me. And the idea of him focusing his time on me makes me nervous. Like, I want to be like, no, like, I'm not worth it. Go do something else. And it's something I'm not accustomed to. I'm not accustomed to my dad's attention. So <laughs> I'm looking forward to getting through this tomorrow and trying to accept this gesture from him, even though it's hard for me. Daughters need their dads. And dads have, they've gotten that wrong a lot. Anytime he wants to give me, I want to give it back to him. The nearness of you, you, you. Yeah. As a result of my own personal experiences, I have had the extreme pleasure of joining a group called Generation Her. Every Thursday we meet in Pasadena with a group of young women who are experiencing a teen pregnancy. All we want to do is show up for them, be present, mentor them. We provide baby supplies. And these, these young women mean everything to me. I don't want them to face the judgment that I faced and I don't want them to not have the support. So I want to be there for them.
Black women consistently have been carded as being strong, but we're tired of being strong. We're tired of showing up and taking care of the families with no support. We're tired of not being protected. And it's a breakdown within the Black community as a result of systemic racism. We understand why we're just asking men to be more accountable. And, and in the process of us being smarter as a community, then we can face the broader community and say, all right, let's take on racism. But it, do, it, it does have to start with us. I, I believe that we have to come together first. Thank you.